but I am Osama, risen from the dead like a phoenix. And now I must go. I have another appearance to make. Next is a swelling country house with two kilometers outside of Mesopotamia. It's owned by a Middle East Jew named Arthur Goldman, who I've just recently known spent five nights in jail for inciting the riot at the New York University campus in the fall of 1987. After he was released, he became an alcoholic, disillusioned activist, and floundered about the world. His father, Marvin, stepped in and offered him a job on what would turn out to be a multi-million dollar web design company. Arthur made lots and lots of money. Then he gave it all up. He sold his shares in the company and moved out here with his wife and two children. His decisions was probably motivated by September 11th and a long-standing desire to return to nature and simpler, wider life. Probably. The house itself is huge. Three floors, seven bedrooms and three bathrooms. There is also a converted guest house that Arthur uses as a workshop. The whole area is surrounded and monitored by a security alarm fence with surveillance cameras, invisible to the human. But I can see I am not human, I am myself. And I'm here for one purpose only, Arthur's collection of vintage electric guitars. Through stills, I sneak into his workshop where all 31 babies are lined up like beautiful women in a beauty contest. When I arrived here this morning, Arthur was hammering out those famous barbed boys of Nirvana's It Smells Like Teen Spirit. He's obviously an amateur. He's no handbooks or cagey painter, but still, after a year in talk, he can play a few tunes. He dazzled his wife and two kids with his 1964 Cobalt Blue Fender Telecaster. I listened. I waited. My query, though, is different. I'm here because of another guitar in Arthur's impressive collection. Next to his favorite, the 1971 Sunburst from the Double Drive Recovery. The Lady Christ. My fingers glide across the flesh like fiery fat words to the sky and sun. I am the priest of fingers who consecrates the analog to the area. I'm the god of punk funk with a modern classical sensibility. Dancing, dancing fingers on a beautiful woman's body. I see through hers and God's strength. I see through the lie that is space-time and the state. I am a dingleberry, quite contrary to the man on the street. And the eternal return, I am a revolution in a dome of silence, a revolution for a show of hands, a revolution as retirement. I am Osama, risen from the dead like a 1968 Phoenix, so mystic. Gibson hollow body with an act of finish and no trust in her.
Why don't you suck my big fat semantic cock? Why don't you at least pretend that you care about the situation in the Middle East and how it's affecting us all? Why don't you try reading Sea Magazine or any of the new alternative media websites? Why don't you take a peek at the Quran or the Torah? Are you a fuck-faced country of come on, mama's boy, coke hag, shit breath, stink fist hypocrite who? Does not for once seriously entertain the notion of a free and independent Palestinian state of chief via humane and just peace. Our tour of the Middle East begins with a terrible order. Cairo, the first stop. Our drummer takes a sip from a public fountain and gets sick, very sick. The locals seem to find it funny. Inshallah, Malish, they say. I thought to myself, what is this? Is this just another manifestation of degradation and horror of globalization? Or simply a strange and uncanny encounter with the other? But the situation in the region was bad. A suicide bomber had blown himself up in Nablus six hours earlier, killing 15 Israelis, and that particular city just happened to be our eighth show, only 12 days away. I remember sitting in an oversized chair in the lobby of a Holiday Inn in Casablanca and thinking, this is bullshit. The shit of a bull that rears its ugly head and moves. Why don't these people stop this madness? Why didn't I become a doctor, lawyer, or academic? And then the bull shifts and chews some grass. Ironically enough, though, in Beirut, it was I who had the shifts. Backstage after the show, which sucked big time, some young Arab kid suddenly appears and grabs my shoulder. He whispers, I was about to tell him, look, I hate myself, I hate the world, and I have zero interest in sex with you or anyone else. It's nothing personal. Also, I'm not gay. Before I could say anything, though, he's gone. Poof. Vanished into thin air. This little incident, just this little encounter, which must have lasted all of about 10 seconds, affected me for days afterwards. It kept coming back at the most bizarre moments. I wonder, who the fuck was that kid? And how did he find and touch me in my usual post-show hidden corner of pain and putrid decay? I was asking myself a series of questions that I couldn't answer. In the end, I went from preoccupied to obsessed. I felt like I'd been mentally infected, like I'd been left holding a bag, someone else's bag, that eventually became my bag, a proverbial bag of shit that became my mind. And when it happened, it mammals, it fell apart. I don't even remember it, but I passed out on stage and was rushed to a hospital. We had to cancel the next two nights in Jerusalem. The diagnosis was nervous exhaustion. After I checked out, things just got worse. I wandered around Jerusalem in a paranoid daze, wondering, who's gonna kill me, an Israeli soldier or a suicide bomber? I took refuge in a hotel room and smoked and drank. The most evil, dark thoughts crossed my mind. My shadow went with the black angels of rock and roll. But then, just like that, I made a decision. We had to cancel the tour. I don't know how, but I suddenly knew with every fiber of my being that if we continued, someone or something would kill me. I flew back and then spent the next three weeks camping in the desert in southern Utah. Very slowly, after about two weeks, I began to get a glimpse, a semblance of pure light in a very dark time and place. So what did I learn? I think I learned how to love myself and the others. But we all have to figure out how to love ourselves because that's where everything begins. And we have to, surprise, surprise, love both the Arab and the Jew.
we have to plot escape plans, a refuge away from the sad, bad, dangerous, and beautifully crumbling home we call the world. Also, if the media and popular culture can brainwash us, perpetuate what could benignly be called a lifestyle, then first, I think we should be thankful. Thankful that at least somewhere, somehow, there exists a realm where dreams really are a reality, power without force or physical coercion. Secondly, we should destroy power with our power, with a song, with a poem, with an elegance, a mysterious letter, with graphics, and a webpage committed to anti-capitalism and music, with the real threat of physical bodily harm to anyone who thinks that capitalism is an option at this stage of the game, with Ben Watson tongue-tied and trapped in a particularly hairy episode of The West Wing.
Thy rays are in the great green, every lion come forth from its lair. The two lands are in festival, dead air body from the air. A Nile flood in heaven all to thee, a cannot in one true and fair. Thou settest every man in his place, dead air body from the air. All our cities aligned with planets above, terraced gardens alive with dark eyed arm and daughters love. Out from the one dynastic hieroglyphic gun, O arm and raw, king of the gods. Where have you and true Memphis gone? Where have you and true Memphis gone? Give me my vulva. You know, give it back to me. That's my vulva. Oh, okay. That's my vulva. But now everything's changed. I guess so. You think? Sure. I think it's really left a lasting impression. I don't know. Don't you think it's just a management problem? Like a speckled herring it is. What? It's a vagrancy problem. That's what it is. Speckled what? Vagrancy. Vagrance. Are you trying to tell me something? Look. I guess I've just been feeling really fickle. Fickle. Don't you think it's time to decide, like, what's really important? Well, I do wish I had a mandate. Do you have a mandate? What's your mandate? Sand blast, rack of blast. Whoa, that's really heavy. Sorry. No, it's okay. I think it's important. You know, I should be able to hear that. Things like that, without getting too upset. I guess I've been upset. Well, that's understandable. No, I mean, I've been, like, you know, really sort of upset. Kind of numb. Like, a little sap or stalled? Yeah, like, kind of sadder. Simpering? Yeah, it's time to wake up. You know, open my eyes, be vigilant. Yeah. Get clipped and favored. Seize the day. Yeah. 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 Welcome to my themeless world.
popular? I mean, do you feel popular? I feel like a cute rascal. Really? I've always wanted to feel like a cute rascal. And now finally, I do. I can, and I do. That's great, partner. That's mighty pliable of you, Mango. So what's your problem anyway? So what's your problem anyway? Pass the saffron. Okay, okay. Brow lower. Look, I don't know. Just sometimes I feel like a radio villain. May as well call a rear guard end to it all, then. Like, we're not really connected. I wish we were more connected. Isn't there something we can do? You know, to help? This helps, right? Talking, trying to make sense of the whole thing, you know. Yes. Why not? I went on. I know. Make room. Open up. It's like Alakazam and it's gone. They're gone. It's like Larva and a Doomsday device. It's like Stroke and Pecky Catch Up Chucky. All you can do is just hold on, man. It's so true. It's like entropy to the nth degree, man. So right. It's like the timing is totally off. For a timely cave retreat. Exactly. Remember, forget. I'm all a quiver in the cradle. What have we all just done? We're trying to flatter or fly. We gotta get back to our roots. Back to the fundamentals. Babies, pinks and boots. In a way, it's really good. You gotta see the positive in all this. It just strips away what's not essential. You know, I just feel like reading some Shakespeare. Me too. Time for some home Take me. I mean, tap me in. Yeah. I've told you everything. I know. It's so great. I'm feeling really connected now. Yeah, it's great to be back. Like men. You can go from here. Yeah, we can go. Yeah. 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 Let's see.